All right, so in this video, <clears throat> I got one of uh, Zypher's designs. We made this for his GBASP slab. There's a hidden message over here, and as well as over here, but to not cause drama, I'm not going to show it on video. Uh, maybe when, if he decides to keep it or not, that's on him. This video is just mainly to show how to solder this little adapter onto this flex PCB. You know, this is a half a millimeter pitch. It's kind of a pain in the ass to normally do. Uh, but using the spatula tip, this is the 1403, T12 1403, we can do this like super easy in one shot. When you have the gold plating like this, what I like to do is add some solder to the uh, the pins. It just makes things so much easier. Let's put some solder on the tip. And as you can see, we just pretty much covered all the pins with solder. It makes the reflow much easier. Don't be afraid to add a little more. We want a little bit because all we're going to do is just place this on top. And we're just going to heat up the pins because this has such a wide surface area. I can cover the entire uh, set of pins in one go. I hope this shows on the camera because basically what I'm doing is just making it so from my angle I could see it has just a little amount where it bubbles up over each pad. So I know there's enough solder there. Always clean your tip. Okay, so now this is where the magic happens. You just got to line up the pins. Hopefully that's, you can see that in the camera. And I'm just putting pressure down so it heats up. And the job is done. Try to get a little zoom in action so you can see. All the pins are on there just right. Now we can actually, you don't want to use this big tip, uh, add some solder to the uh, the mounting pads on the side. If you think there's a, a mistake or something, you can always, you know, clean your, clean your tip. Always want that clean so you don't add excess solder. Just heat up the pads. And you can actually Hold the, move it forward. The surface, uh, the surface heat on this, the retention is, is ridiculous. I can just dab the pads and pull back. It'll make a perfect joint every single time. And you don't even, you know, and because of the heat, it's, as I just did it, you just push down, it'll heat up the pad and the pins, and it just make a, you know, a nice weld of the two joints. So easy with this tool. You can do the drag soldering method, you know, but sometimes you get pins left, uh, soldered between pins with this, you got no issue. What did that take me? Literally five seconds once I lined it up, done. So I hope uh, you know this is informative, and hopefully some of you learned something from this. If you're considering doing a lot of this this type of work, this is an invaluable tool. If you want to do a lot of uh, desoldering of like uh, BGA, once you clean up, once you remove the BGA chip, this is amazing to uh, clean up the the solder left on the pads with some solder wick and some uh, some flux amazing i love this thing this is like one of my go-to tools when i do 
like N64 um, HDMI installs or any any other uh, flex PCB to do to the N64 CPU, this is my go-to tool. I'll just line it up, push down, and just pull out. All the joints are done on like pretty much one go. Now they do have larger ones. This is the 1403. It goes all the way to 1406, which is, I think is like uh, 18 or 20 millimeters. Pretty huge. So, yeah. <laughs> so this is like my largest size I have. I have two smaller ones, but this is my go-to for anything that involves fine pitch or just doing a lot of uh, pins all together. You know, super easy. All right, thanks for watching.